Evil Land 2 on Steam is a video game featuring RPG twisted up to RPG gameplay with a bold thinner mist of lashes, satisfying element story. The dialogue is full transported with happiness and volume laughter directly into a solitude energy form of gratitude. Feathery details that blow away most gamers into comparison with other 2D RPGs, but here's the blanket of wisdom to your ears. It's also 3D in some aspects. So you get a classic and a newly forbidden one coming out of the crystal closet. It has firm beliefs of correctness, dark spots of frustrating parts, so it's really a love goodie that's delicious and well bitten. But you also have a hate relationship to it as well because of the difficulty that most gamers can understand in lifting scenes of umbrella hell roses of spiky puzzles that give you a urgent headache so fast. Your swifting arms can't dream of the drinking fluids jumping into energetic glass of fun. The bosses are really charmful and there's a couple to be remembered as a chamber secret. The enemies are your decent Armstrong foes that drive you into an insanity mode of killing them instantly. The leveling up system is different. You gotta collect these yellow star bits that flow into your serving veins and you level up your HP, attack, or something else that you worship. First of all, the world looks great. It's really a fine line of pretty visuals when you beat the game. There's not many people that worked on this masterpiece, which is surprisingly way cooler than I expected. Props to everyone that busted their tail heights to make this a tally classic. The music, on the other hand, is also a really fearlessly engaging and upbeat thrilling to make you hop around the double coffee seats of electric swings. Then you also have emotional trails of feelings down to your wretched soul. What really makes this game really a high topping score is the mixed gameplay and video game references it puts in the blinding glow of impurities. You get to see Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Link from Legend of Zelda, and I don't want to spoil any other interactions and dialogue scenarios that make you rage and comment don't spoil this for me. For what I played, this game is an absolute drawing, artistic, clamping shore, diving master class that makes most games a chump into a barrel fishing for a rare cracker that unites what video games are made of. If you're looking for a long RPG adventure with everything I explained, then this game is a game for you. The best part, it's only $20 and you can get more than 20 hours of above all entertainment. I give this game a 10 slash 10. Yes, there's parts that are very, very, very frustrating into making a apple dump rage face, but the moments in this game that make up a delicate ripping smile of the best game I've ever played for a long time. Love the Burrito Master.